Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to highlight text in Final Cut Pro. It's easy. I'll show you six different ways, plus a little known trick for keeping your highlighted text organized. I'm gonna share with you three different ways to highlight your text quickly and easily. And then I'm gonna show you how to put a box behind your text. After that, I'll show you how to do a newspaper highlight style effect. And then I'll show you a highlight template that's built right into Final Cut Pro. And at the end, I'll show you how to organize your highlighted text. One of the easiest and fastest ways to highlight your text is to use the built-in parameters. Select your text, come up here to Text Inspector, and then scroll down to the bottom, click on Outline and show it you'll see that it automatically puts an outline around our text. Let's make it a little bit wider so we can see it better. And let's change that color. That's too much, too bright for me. Let's change it to the same color as the surfboard. Click this little eyedropper and go select a color. There we go. We can also change the blur of it if we want it to be a little softer or we can reduce the opacity. But I like the thick crisp lettering. We can also change it to gradient colors. Just click on these tags and you'll have the same color options as before. Let's start it off with a yellow surfboard color and I want it to go down to a green color. Let's try this green right there. Alright, that looks cool. Another option you have for highlighting your text is the glow. So let's turn off outline and let's enable glow and let's mess around with those parameters just like outline you can use a gradient glow if you want we'll stick with a solid color and let's stick with yellow for right now but we don't see anything let's turn up the radius now we're starting to see something and let's turn up the blur there we go that looks pretty good just for starters you can change these parameters and get some really custom looking effects. Let's crank the blur way up to where we get a blur that's more by the word and line that it is for each letter. And if we tweak the radius, we can make that even bigger. We can also turn down the opacity if we want it to be a little bit more subtle. All right, turn off glow and turn on drop shadow. You can see that immediately it pops it off of the screen of the clip below it. But I want to go for a different kind of highlight effect. Let's change the color to surfboard yellow and let's put the opacity to hundred percent and let's increase the distance and just like that we've got this effect that makes it look like there's two layers of text. It's pretty cool huh? We can also change the angle of the secondary text. You don't always have to use what's built in for Final Cut for what it was built for. This drop shadow was meant to kind of pop things off the screen, but you can use it to give it a cool highlight effect. There's also a couple of built-in effects in Final Cut Pro you can use to highlight your text. So we turn off drop shadow and turn on our effects browser. Go to the light section and look for flashing. Drag and drop that onto your text. And you'll see it's immediately you've got a highlighting effect happening. This is kind of a black, bright flashing highlight effect. Select the title clip and go up to the video inspector and look under effects. What can we change? Unfortunately with this one, not much. We can just change the intensity. We can take it down a notch if we want but we still have kind of the bright, flashing, intermittent highlight effect. All right, that one's pretty cool, but I found another one I think you'll like even better. It's called Dazzle. It's in the same category. Drag and drop that onto your text, and you can see we're already getting some kind of outline glow highlight effect. Go to the video inspector, and let's look at what we can change. We can tint it if we want, but I want to keep the original color. Let's increase the amount to about 60 and let's put the angle at zero. And put the brightness 
at 60 as well. Let's pull that down. All right, there we go. Put threshold at 40. This is where we're gonna to start to see some changes here. And let's put the spike count at nine. This is a good looking highlight, but we've lost the original text and it looks a little strange. Let's duplicate this, hold down Alt, and then click and drag on the title, and it creates a duplicate title for us. Select the new title, go to the video inspector, and turn off the effect dazzle. And now we have the original text back. Let's see what it looks like. We've got this nice highlighted look. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. Final Cut Pro comes with a built-in highlight template. It's found in Build In and Out under the Titles browser, and it's called Highlight. I've got it here in my timeline, and I've made a few changes to it. I put my, I put my words in and formatted it the way I want. Let's take a look at it. So it animates on screen and then it has this highlight in the middle of it, putting some colors behind it. I like it, but I want some different colors. So select the title, go to the title inspector, and at the bottom, select highlight color. Click on the eyedropper. Let's try and get this cool blue here in the wave. That looks pretty good, but it's dark. Let's lighten this up by sliding it to the left. That looks pretty good. Let's see what it does. Pretty good highlight. There's many ways to highlight your text other than just putting some color behind it. In this template, it's got some built-in highlight options. If you go to the title inspector and look at style, you can change. Let's try squish. That highlights the text by squishing it, making it look, changing the size of it. Let's try pirouette. This highlights the text by spinning the letters. Another way to highlight your text is to put a shape behind it. I want to put a rectangle behind my text here. Go to Titles and Effects Browsers, scroll down to your generators, and go to the Elements section and select Shapes. Drag it between your clip but underneath your text. Go to the Generators Inspector and let's change the shape to a rectangle. Let's turn off this outline and turn off the opacity. That's looking pretty good. Let's drag it down below our text. Not bad, but it's not wide enough. Click on the Video Inspector and use Scale X to increase how big it is. There we go. That looks good. I want it to fade in as the text animates. So go to the beginning and go up here to the video inspector and by opacity set a keyframe and pull the opacity down to 100. Then go to just after the text is done animating, make sure you have your generator selected and turn the opacity all the way up to 100. Now it'll fade on while the text animates. That looks pretty good. Have you ever watched a movie or a documentary and they highlight text like on a newspaper or on some documents that they weren't supposed to find but they did and they wanted to show you a cool part of it? Well, let's do that in Final Cut. You see here I've got a newspaper in my timeline and I want to highlight the name of the newspaper right here. I'm going to use the same shapes generator. I'll drag it down and then I'll trim it to match up with the timing of my newspaper. Let's turn it into a rectangle. Go to the generators inspector, select rectangle, turn off the outline and I want to turn off drop shadow as well. Now highlights are usually a bright yellow color so let's change it to that. Only problem is we can't see under it. It blocks the text. Go to the video inspector and under blend mode, select darken. Oh, that looks just like a highlighter written on newspaper. You can see kind of the grain of the newspaper. It looks good. 
Use this on-screen control to move it up into place. And let's make it wider, just like we did before. We'll use the scale X parameter to make it wider. That looks good. I also want it a little bit taller. Actually, no, I don't. I'm going to leave it like this because when you highlight text, you never get it perfect, right? There's always like a little bit of the text out of it. But if you want to cover all of it, you just use the scale Y parameter to make it taller. But I like some of the text not being in the highlight area. I'm going to just now just adjust it a little bit and I want to give it a little bit of angle just to give it some life. There we go, one looks good. Just a little slight angle. All right, that looks good, but let's animate it. Let's make it look like a highlighter is actually drawing it on there. Select your generator, go to the beginning, and zoom out by clicking up here. And then in this bottom left-hand corner of the canvas, select crop. We've got these cropping boxes here. Add a keyframe by clicking this icon in the upper left corner. And then move your left side of your bounding box over. And then the right side of the bounding box, bring it real close to the left side. And there, let's go forward in our timeline, about a second. And then pull the right side of the bounding box all the way over to reveal the highlight. Then click done in the upper right corner. Let's take a look. We can also change the timing of that animation. Select the generator and press control V. Under trim, select right. And you'll see we have these keyframes. If I want it to animate more slowly, I can just move this keyframe to the right. Let's take a look. A much slower highlight reveal. Or if I want it to be faster, I can move it closer to the first keyframe. Now you can make groundbreaking documentaries highlighting all of the lies we've been told. Congrats! You're now a Final Cut Pro Text Black Belt. And I have a trophy for you. It's a free pack of Final Cut Pro tools. These will make you feel professional and are a piece of cake to use. It's worth $138, but you can get them for free. Just click the link below to get your free gift, Daniel-san.